Welcome back to SHOT Show 2024 and welcome back to our EVA Pavilion. I'm again in my lovely EVA living room powered by Gun Trade World and today we will talk about a topic that is very, very personal and relevant for me. But before we dive into that, I'm very happy to welcome Danielle. Danielle, nice that you have found the time to join me here today. Would you mind introducing yourself in one or two sentences to the audience? Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be here. Um, I'm an international content creator. I work um, together with Beretta, Gecko Ammunition, Steiner Optics, and Low Ready Magazine, for example. Um, of course, I'm a passionate shooter. And um, yeah, I've been nominated three times for uh, the most influential female by the Gandhi's Awards, which is a big thing here in the US. Um, and my mission is to inspire more women to, to pick up shooting. Yeah. Awesome, Danielle. Um, when I heard the topic we were going to talk about in the next few minutes, I was very, very excited because we will face the generational shift in our industry. And we both are like very good examples in which direction this industry is going. And to get this like started, I want to know from you, um, do you think or do you feel like the industry is getting younger and younger because for a long time this was a problem in our industry? And what do you think about it? What is your impression also maybe for the last days in yeah. such a yeah, so first of all, of course, it's getting younger. I've been here since 2019, which is not a long period of time compared to other people. But uh, in this um, few years, I even um, could see the change in the generations, like it's getting younger. People are bringing more innovation to the industry. And I think this is a beautiful thing, just like you. I mean, you're like the face of Eva now, which is a great thing. You're doing an amazing job. Um, and I think this is exactly um, the perfect example for what's happening in the industry. And it's not only getting younger, but we are also attracting more females. Is that yes. right? Yes, that is correct. I, could, I can see that in my insights, like on Instagram. I started with 4%, which is not much mm -hmm. to think about it. Now it's 6%, which is also not much. But if you like thinking about mm -hmm. it, 2% is better than nothing. And yeah. it's getting more and not less. And I'm very, very happy to, to have this on my page. What do you think, how big is the impact of brands regarding this topic and also for role models like you? I mean, the persons like you on social media, you show yourself as role models for other females. So what do you think brands need to do to get more impact on attracting the younger generation and also the females more into shooting? Um, I think brands should be an asset for the target group, like not just try to sell the product, but um, to enable. That's why I love uh, working with Beretta, for example. Um, there are women like um, Jessica Hook, who even did the clothing line with Beretta mm. now for the tactical female shooter, which I think is such a great thing because we've been waiting for nice clothing for the past yeah. years. Like me as a woman, it's hard to get like the clothing. And this is just an example of few, like there are brands who even do like specific guns for smaller hands mm -hmm. and um, yeah I think this is a beautiful thing yeah and uh, yeah I think it's going it's, in, the, in the right direction of it's course. really good to see that big brands but always also small brands are starting to see us as target groups so I think 10 years before brands didn't know how to communicate correctly to different kind of people and I think that's like where we're getting right now that you see the brands are getting, they need to talk to the younger generation in another way that they do to the older generation. And also, as you said, they um, getting it that also females want to be um, directed, direct, uh, want to be speak to directly. So I think that's a very good thing that we see in our industry right now. Yeah, and also um, like social media is a mm -hmm. great tool to get into that target. Because yeah. this is where we all are, right? It's where we like grew up with. And I think it's a great uh, strategy to get into the target group through social media. Yeah, yeah, it's like the digitalization, right? Yeah. Um, it's not only social media, it's also like, I would say the topics can be called content marketing, showing stuff and not only selling. Yeah. Like that's also something I see in the industry and like mm -hmm. brands with Beretta, they stop trying to sell products um, with dry content, but they collaborate with uh, role models like you and they do very good content and which entertains the people. Um, you are very famous on Instagram. What do you think, where will that go in the future? Like, is, with the digitalization taking part, where do you see yourself in the next one, two, three years when it comes to digitalization? 
Yeah, that's a tough question um, because it's getting harder. Like social media is not very into guns, but I think this is changing a lot. Yes. Also the past few years, this was like, yeah, it's mm -hmm. a movement. Um, but I think uh, it's getting more and more. Yeah. Like um, the, the growth is definitely there and the community is very strong. On I see that media. also. Right. The community is growing, growing, growing. Yeah, so I think it's getting more and more and um, the brands put, didn't pick up yet. Mm -hmm. They will do and I think this is great. Yeah. Do you think for brands who are not used to communicating in, in social media, for example, do you think it will be keen for them to hop on the socials and like following the ones who are doing the great stuff or do you think they will find another way around it? You, see, uh, you mean if, if they can like yeah, they can no. go around the social media. Do no. you think in the next years, <laughs> every brand has to get yeah. their social strategy like going? Yeah, in my opinion, this is the future. I mean, we are already there, right? And uh, social media is not just a tool to entertain people, but to cultivate and educate. And yeah. that's why I don't think totally. anyone can like get around this. Totally. I mean, I also think, I don't know if you follow the Eva content we do. I do. But I totally agree on the topic and on your opinion because that's what we, what we did two years ago. We also sat down and said, okay, we need to be clear what we want to, to communicate via our social channels and we need to pick up space to, to be modern and to be a modern brand. And I totally agree that every brand in our industry needs to see the power of social media and the digital tools and they need to figure out how they want to use it but yeah. there's no, we don't use it. Yeah, and I think you're doing a great job. I'm honored to work with you now for the past few years. And I really, I really like and appreciate the work. Um, since you work for like big brands like Beretta and Steiner and everything, do you have some tips for brands who are new in this, in this sector? Like you're doing content um, for these big brands. Tell us a little bit about your work. Um, when new brands want to contact um, influencers or role models like you to work for them, what would you recommend to them? Um, first of all, I think credibility is a very important topic. Um, I would never pair up with a, with a brand that doesn't suit me. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm very interested in the history of a, of a brand and of a company and I want to get to know them first. I think long-term relationships in, in this kind of cooperation is very, very important for brands yeah. and also for like influencers or brand ambassadors. And you know what? I would like get one step further because I would recommend brands to see you not only as like influencers and they need to, to see you as the role models for many, many people. Yeah. And they need to trust in your creativity. They need to trust in your communication and your network. And that's one thing I would recommend to the brands that you should not be afraid going for it and to contact like persons like you, but then not to be too strict yeah. because you know your community best and you know what they want to see and what they listen to. So I always say, let's give it a try and put trust into people like you yeah. because you yeah. know what you do best. Last thing, uh, Danielle, it's only four weeks until IWA Auto Classics yeah. 2024. It's our 50 year anniversary. Um, wow. Yeah, we have Can't wait. celebrating 50 <laughs> years. Can you imagine That's that? That's insane. Um, just give us like a quick uh, insight. What are you looking for the most when you think about Eva? Yeah, the, meeting all the people, of course. Like this is my, my most favorite thing. I, I don't see you guys like a year and then yeah. I can meet you finally. Um, and also, of course, um, meeting followers and viewers. This is really a great thing for me also here. Like some people are like talking to me, they're following me. And I mean, this is the thing why I'm doing it. You know, I want to inspire people and um, I always like to see that uh, in person. And of course, um, or, um, I'm working again with Already Magazine. I will do interviews and, and hosting interviews and I can't wait for that. Yeah, it's crazy how time flies, right? We don't yeah. see each other for a year and then just by one click, it's like again, Eva Auto Classics. Um, yeah, Danielle, that's it. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. You. Um, make sure, Danielle mentioned she will work for Low Ready Magazine also in this year's EBA. So everybody who cannot attend EBA show will be well, well informed about all the new stuff and topics. And you can watch Danielle um, going through our halls and searching for the best innovations for you. So make sure to check that out during EBA. 
And if you can come to EVA, make sure that you have your ticket already saved. And yeah, that's it from our EVA Pavilion uh, today with Danielle. Again, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you, you for being here and see you later. Thank you.